by request. There's an oscilloscope. There's a function generator. And there's a calculator. I don't know if we're going to need that. There's the output of the function generator. Output. Impedance 50 ohms. Maximum 40 volts. Peak to peak. This is uh, my interstate F43. High voltage function generator. Okay. This is its output. This is the other end of the output. This is an oscilloscope. This is the oscilloscope's channel A input. 1 mega ohm impedance. So at 1 mega ohm impedance it's not going to load the function generator very much at all so we should be able to see the full 40 volts peak to peak of the F43. So I'm going to plug that in, turn that channel off for a minute. We're not using the B channel. We're displaying only the A trace, triggering on the A trace, 5 volts per division. There I've put a little marker. I've tried to put the A trace right on the, the center of the screen. Isn't that strange about that LaCroix oscilloscope? It has five small markings per division horizontally, but only four small markings vertically. The grid squares aren't square. That is very strange. But on this oscilloscope, the grid squares are square. There's five markings each in each direction. Let me put that A trace down a little bit. There we go. All right. So that's with the channel grounded. And so that represents the zero voltage or reference level. And we're set at five volts per division. And we're reading the output of the function generator directly. And there's nothing else hooked up to the oscilloscope or to the function generator. All right? All right. So now, let's go ahead and turn that channel on. Tink. And look what we got here. We have a square wave of approximately 50% duty cycle going from 0 to minus 5 volts. Let's look over here at the function generator. Here's the function generator's waveform knob. You'll see it's got a minus going pulse there. There's a positive going pulse. There's a square wave that crosses over but with variable symmetry. Uh, pulse width modulation. We can modulate those pulses by width. There's a sine wave all below zero. There's a sine wave all above zero. There's a sine wave symmetrically about zero. There's a square wave symmetrically about zero. There's a triangle symmetrically about, about. There's a triangle above, triangle below, and then the very last one in the shadow there is DC. Okay, that's no pulses, just a DC voltage level. So I'm going to go through those all the way around so you can see the effect on this this is the oscilloscope. So here's negative going pulses, positive going pulses, up and down pulses but with variable offset or uh, symmetry rather, duty cycle. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a sine wave below the mark, below zero, but not triggered yet. So I'm going to. Uh, tweak the trigger just a little bit, see if I can get it to stop. Well, the scope doesn't like that. Doesn't like that sine wave very much. Let's see here what we can do. Try to get a little bit better. See if we can actually get it to trigger. There we go. There we go. Woo, come on, baby. There we go. So the scope is still warming up, by the way. There's a sine wave all below zero, okay? And uh, there's a sine wave all above zero, and uh, there's a symmetrical sine wave. There's that positive and negative going pulse with a 50% duty cycle. Triangle wave, focus. Triangle above, triangle below, and a DC level. Now, 
I'm going to use the offset. Offset has been pushed in. If I pull it out, I can go to minus or positive DC. Offset, just a straight DC line. Okay, so here we go. Pulling the offset knob. Now I'm cranking the offset to the positive. 5 volts, 10 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts. And I got a lot of ways to go here. See, I'm not even all the way halfway up to the top. Let's see how much it will go. Let's go to 10 volts per division on the amplifier. Okay, so we're now at uh, 1020. Oops. Uh, amplitude. So that's a little bit over 20. And that's 0. 1020. So we're getting 43 volts peak to peak out of the F43. Isn't that cute? All right, that's DC. So what I'm doing there is just cranking the offset knob back and forth. All right, so let's kill the offset, pushing it in, and now we return to the zero level. So now let's go ahead and select the all negative going pulse. Okay. All right, all negative going pulse. And uh, sure enough, there it is. We crank it back down to a reasonable level. Go to 5 volts per division again and turn the amplitude down so that we have 5 volts per division right there. And get to about back to kind of square wave. There we go. Okay. All right, so now you see we've got that negative going pulse from 0 to negative 5 volts, right? And now what I'm going to do is turn the offset. So I pull it out. That's at about the neutral offset level. Now I'm going to go down on the offset. See how the whole waveform just goes down until it disappears off the screen? And if I go up on the offset control, the whole waveform goes up until it just disappears off the screen. So that's what offset does on a function generator. It just moves the signal. It offsets it, plus or minus. Right? doesn't change the signal. There's no change in the signal. The scope shows what the function generator puts out. There's no way that I know of to sneak some offset setting past the oscilloscope because the oscilloscope is hooked up to the function generator and it reads the function generator's output. And all the offset control does is vary the offset of the signal. Okay. Is that enough? Thanks for watching.